Hi, my name is Ellie Scher. I'm a comedic actress, a health and wellness consultant, and I'm an adventurer. <laughs> Can you guess what I am? No, come on, guess. You don't know what I am? Come on, guess. It's very obvious what I am. I'm a mermaid. <laughs> I'm a mermaid, I'm a mermaid. Look at me, I'm a mermaid. 36 for 36 is brought to you by The Late Night Experiment with Motown Maurice. Subscribe today on YouTube. So it all started when I was born and raised in Kauai and I got to go scuba diving for the first time. My best friend at the time, um, I was in fifth or sixth grade, she uh, asked me if I wanted to do this course with her and I convinced my parents, I had to beg them to let me do it. And as soon as I learned how to go underwater and started breathing underwater, it was the coolest feeling ever. I was like, I'm addicted, I wanna do more things like this. Um, I felt like a sea creature, you know, Ariel, dream come true. Like there's a whole other world down below. It's crazy. And so I wanted to hike more and started jumping off cliffs and learning to surf. When I was in high school, um, 10th grade, I saved up enough money working at an ice cream shop to go to Greece and Italy with my best friend for the summer. And uh, it was called Adventures Cross Country and we learned how to windsurf and also got to sail a boat, <laughs> which was really cool. Yes! Woo! Hair in my head! <laughs> Adventure! Dun, dun. And we also got to go scuba diving again. I, I got my master certification this time, which was really exciting, because I was like, mm, you guys, I already know how to do this. You also sound like Darth Vader when you're under the water. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> and the cool part, though, was that in the waters, there were these grouper fish and they were huge and they swam by your face and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm like in the deep sea. This is so cool. I'm just like, keep going. I wanna travel more. I wanna try new things. Three, two, one, Pudgy! <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh. Where'd she go? Oh my God, I lost her. There you are. Oh my God, this is insane. <laughs> By the time I became a senior in high school, I went to Africa that summer after I graduated with my best friend. Um, we went from uh, South Africa into Livingston, so four countries, and it was overlanding, so it was on this big bus, and you camp at different campsites. So it was really exciting, super adventurous, uh, but the best thing we did was when we ended in Victoria Falls, we went tandem bungee jumping. And the thing about tandem bungee jumping is it's more dangerous because it's two people on one cord rather than just yourself on a cord. So there's a likely chance it'll snap more. <laughs> but at the time, nobody died at that place. After looking back, we found that somebody did die, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, so, but the feeling of bungee jumping is really <laughs> exciting besides, you know, it's 99.9% .9 chance. Uh, you jump off and you're like diving into midair and then you get that cool drop feeling when you bounce back up and oh my gosh that feeling's addictive yeah and then um, we also because you got to do three things at the bridge uh, we did this swing thing where you step off and you drop and swing and that gives you that really cool feeling and then we also went zip lining which was amazing but not as rushy feel like um, and then in Africa, I also learned how to sandboard, which is like snowboarding, which I hadn't tried yet at the time. And I got to go off this little jump and ate it real bad, but it was so fun. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm gonna get better at this. And then I got to go quad biking. Um, I got to go with the guys um, because I knew how to drive a stick shift. So you just pedal and switch gears with your, your feet instead of like your hands in a car and you get to go off bigger dunes and stuff, um, which was amazing. 
And then the last thing I did in Africa was shark cage dive. And this is off uh, Cape Town. And so uh, they have the big, great white sharks there. And they hang a cage off the boat and you have your snorkels and you like dunk in and they have bait bringing the shark closer. It's very cool. I definitely want to go back to Africa. <laughs> Lots to do. By the time I was a sophomore in college, I went back to Kauai with one of my friends and we went skydiving. I took her for her birthday and uh, we went really early in the morning, so it was beautiful. There was like a rainbow in the sky. And the scary part before getting on the plane was that they make you video record you saying you're not gonna sue them, <laughs> which is like, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> but then getting on this tiny plane, flying up, lots of turbulence. Uh, you're just like, okay, okay. I was calming my friend down because she's terrified. And I'm like, don't worry, this will be so fun. We're gonna have a great time. And then the instructor's like, okay, you're gonna go first. And so I have to like get out and put my feet like towards the edge of the plane, like dangling off. And you're just like, oh my gosh, this is happening. And then you do it. And all this wind is rushing to your face. And I'm looking back at the video, check it out. I look fucking ugly. <laughs> I look so bad. My, my face is lifting into my eyeballs. And then, um, and then my boobs. I should have worn a different shirt. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a great experience and then the, the shoots released and then you're like sailing down which is a really cool feeling and enjoying the beautiful view of Kauai um, but I was just like oh man that video I paid good money I, should, <laughs> I wish I looked better <laughs> Among all the adventures I've already had, I have a bucket list. I want to go to Machu Picchu. It's in Peru. Hey, Motown. I'm biking in Peru. There's uh, four alternative routes that National Geographic has. And so my friends and I really want to do one of the alternative routes. We're thinking of the five day one. So it's like camping and traveling with all your stuff on your back. So it's exciting. And then there's no tour guide, which is even more exciting because you're doing it on your own. Uh, and it's less touristy, which is always a bonus. And then I also really want to go to this uh, big, big bungee jump in I think Sweden or Switzerland. It's the one in Goldeneye. Um, so 007, Pierce Brosnan does it. <laughs> and I was like, I have to do that as a kid. It's too much fun. And then I also want to finish off by going to Australia and do the Great Barrier Reef, um, especially because it's dying out. So thank you, global warming. <laughs> but I also want to just do more adventures. I feel like I don't even know all the adventures that are out there. So if anybody has an adventure they think I should do, let me know, because I want to conquer the world. Oh yeah, like a girl. <laughs>Uh, I made my first appearance in the Late Night Experiment with Motown Maurice in Season 6, Episode 5. I was a comedic roaster and I got to roast <laughs> Motown on his video Vixen Days. Yeah, it had to be called out. Um, he was a booty shaking hoe and I think we all needed to know that. And I'm really glad that I got to do it because um, I never was a comedic roaster before. I was like, oh yeah, basically I'm on Comedy Central right now, roasting someone. <laughs> Motown was good sport about it too. <laughs> Motown, shake what your mama gave you. Back that thing up. Let's face it, he's a video hoe. <laughs> you should watch the late night experiment with Motown Reese because all of these stories are like an adventure. You're learning people's lives. It's like a wonder of the world, right? Uh, and you get to experience new things, which I think is amazing, obviously. So do it, watch it, be an adventurer. Go be an old man like an up <laughs> and be an adventurer. Adventure awaits. See you on the other side.
In the history of late night television, no human interest story compares to the life narrative of Motown Maurice. Subscribe and experience the journey.